hello guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl love it and in today's edition we are going to be talking about my sister's positive experiences you know if you were following us you would have watched the ones that we made on the negative experiences and the shock that she had when she moved to finland and in today's video we are going to be talking about all the positive parts that she had had to experience from finnish culture finnish people and finnish society so if this is your first time of stopping by Hello again and welcome to our channel. Here we discuss everything about Finland and also other parts of the world, how you can move and of course study or work with your family. Now we are going to ask her to say hi to our audience. Hello. Hi again, my name is Okochuku and then you are welcome to Love It Zoban speech. Thank you. Thank you, sis. Now like from our previous video <laughs> this just is very very interesting if you haven't watched our previous video on this matter eh on the on the, the pros uh, or cons which one <laughs> pros and cons i think the, the cons were already the one we had we are now talking about the pros that she had had to experience so far within her short period in Finland. So now yeah. the floor is all yours. Tell us what are the good things you've experienced from Finland and Finnish culture and the people? Yeah, you know, one thing about Finland is that uh, uh, I would say as much as, you know, we are always fast to talk about the negative, mm. you know, aspect of things. I will say that the, the the positive things or the advantages of staying in Finland are to raise the disadvantages. Mm -hmm. Let us not. <laughs> let us not. You that you pointed yeah. that out because the person that watched our previous <laughs> video will be like, why are we yeah, even here in the yeah. first place? And then, guys, one thing I would also want to tell you is that you should not allow anybody if you have always had this you know intention of moving to finland don't allow anybody to discourage you or don't allow anybody to tell you europe is not longer the europe of yesterday yes we died dear yeah so don't be discouraged come here and then uh you know if the person could survive here you too you would survive here so don't let anyone discourage you so like i said earlier the advantages outweighs the disadvantages yeah mm. so and then one of the things i've enjoyed since moving to this place is is you know uh like you know the ease with which you get things done you know it's just it's just like on a platter of good you no know, hassle no stress and then Whatever, you know, you just stay in your house, you know, in the comfort of your room and then you make appointments, you book appointments, and then you you get your, your bank things done and then stuff like that. So it is, things are very heat free here and then it's, it's one of the things I enjoy. And the beauty about that particular point is that most of the, most of the services have online for format yeah. like pages online where you log in yeah. do your transactions book appointments if you have to get your tax certificate or tax card if you have <laughs> to you do it yourself from your computer from, it, like it's you know uh, the other day about three days ago i am actually expecting a, a mail from posty so and then i told my sister yeah i remembered my address is, is in kayani mm. and my posty address is in kayani and then i wouldn't want since i am here in helsinki for the summer mm. i wouldn't want my posts my, my post to go to, go to kayani because I need to be knowing, you know, be up to date with what I am receiving mm. to know the when bills. I receive yeah, important <laughs> things. <laughs> the bills come with post. <laughs> yeah. So, and then I was like, oh God, how do I, maybe I was like even asking her, please, sis, you need to take me to DVV again. I mean, to post his uh, office. office so that I can change my post postal address. To this place mm. so and then my sister told me why do you need to go to post this office you can change your posting address online i was like how and then she 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 said go to all my posty ha okay <laughs> i went to google and typed all my posty and then I, just like that i changed she did my, it all by, herself. by myself 
and then I changed my my post address, post address to, to here. this place. And then, uh, in fact, like about two hours later, they told me that my address, my change post. of my posting address has been successfully changed. Mm. And then the following day, I received a mail yeah. here yeah. in Helsinki. Yeah. You understand? So um, the system and then, is functional. Yeah. And then I I remember also when I had to you know sign some things. Uh, I, I I am supposed to sign a contract, yeah. But then I was in Helsi I was in Kayani, and then the contracts. Uh, I was supposed to sign the contract in Helsinki here. So you know, having to move from Kayani to this place just to sign uh, something uh, uh, from Kayani to Helsinki is like seven hours plus or six hours plus to seven hours. So, and then I was surprised when they sent me the contract on my email and just said that I should use my, my internet banking details to sign the contract. Mm. I was like, what is this one again? <laughs> How can somebody use internet details? You know, now all of us, we are using bank, you know, your bank app, your normal Nigerian mm. bank app, like first bank app and all that. That is your ID in Finland. Yeah. <laughs> And then they said I should log into that and use it to sign the contract. And then I was surprised. I, I signed into my internet uh, mobile app, mobile bank app. Mm. And then before you know it, under two seconds, they sent me a message in my email uh, that I have uh, successfully electronically signed the, 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 the document. And then thank you for signing. I was like, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh my, my god, goodness. what is all this? <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, as it is unfolding, I was enjoying the whole thing. You yeah. know, the fact that you don't have to you stress, don't stress yourself. to get anything done. Yeah. The fact that you don't have to stress You don't yourself. have to queue. Yeah. No yeah there queues. is no queue in anywhere. Yeah. And then the fact that the, uh, another thing I enjoy is the fact that sometimes like, you know, being that, you know, you have to pay light bills, sometimes we switch off the, the, the electric bulbs, you know, to avoid energy consumption. Save energy. Yeah, to save <laughs> energy. Sometimes I'll be like, okay, so, sometimes when we off the lights and then I'll be like, oh my God, I was never taking lights. <laughs> and then my sister will tell me like, <laughs> which level are you talking about <laughs> so yeah, yeah the fact that everything is always available they have in... not taken the light since <laughs> i moved to finland in how we get to how many years now i cannot count yeah but there has never been a time where there is no electricity yeah. like never like in years yeah and, and then she's the... like shocked by that and then <laughs> i was too yeah and then the fact that everything anywhere you are going there is no way you are going in this finland that is not on the map mm. you hardly get lost here that is how this place is in fact if you want to go to a place tomorrow you can actually google search it on the map see the building the color of the building and then the exact place we you are, are going, going to so immediately you see the building. even the streets yeah immediately you see the building even the thing that are close that is close by the uh, place you are going so that immediately you see the building you know you know right. that this is the place you are going yeah. and then and so many other things yeah we know like i mentioned in the previous video that these people they like their distance they like being alone but the fact is this i think it is the system and maybe their system that has made it to uh, you know made them to understand that function people independently. Need, yeah that people need to function independently so i think they grow up functioning independently but the truth is when you are about to like kind of crack that wall as in like when you have given them the reason to like open up to you and then be friendly they are one of the most friendly people and then they can go uh, extra, extra miles, miles for, their for you yes. so if you are moving to this place don't always it should not always be about what you will gain or always looking for a, a shortcut or an easy way to getting things mm. done mm. they don't like it here so once you come here follow them the way they are and then take it easy with them and then before you know it you find them opening up to you and then when you you are friends with them they can go extra mile for you
So they are also like they are reliable people. Yeah, very reliable. They are reliable people. Yeah. So that is that. And then another thing I enjoy is the fact that sometimes you just have to walk through the zebra crossing, owning the road, like walking, <laughs> like as it sometimes I will be walking. Passing through the zebra crossing, and then I'll be comfortably pressing my phone. And then if I see any motor approaching, I say, Oh, yeah, now nah, jam me now. You will pay me like 10,000 euro. <laughs> no, you feel like zebra crossing, the person walking on the zebra crossing is the king of the road. So no car, nothing will come near you. Yeah. So, but you do not dare to step out if there is no zebra crossing. So yeah. you are the one causing trouble for yourself. Unlike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, yeah. in Enugu, I tried the zebra crossing once in Enugu <laughs> and then the zebra crossing was still there and the cars were still crossing <laughs> they didn't even send me on my zebra crossing I remember that day. I was like oh my god what is this <laughs> so yeah, yeah. They, they stick to like traffic rules is like they, they are very good with that traffic rules if you are a rough driver you, don't, you have to just slow down Traffic rule is something that they obey to the core and police gives fine every now and then to people that are disobeying it. If you mistakenly drive, reach zebra crossing and touch somebody that is stepping on zebra crossing, you have gotten yourself the hugest of fine. It's a very big problem. So yeah, you just walk in zebra crossing like you're the king of the road. <laughs> I know that wow. feel. I know that. Feel. And then another good thing is the fact that you 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 get paid for what you you do, and then nobody short changes you. You know, you don't feel like like you don't feel well, and then you don't go to work, and then you are paid for. You know that that is basically for a system that works, mm. and then consider their people mm. you understand if so, you are sick and if you, you are not sick go in and then for work yeah, that day, you get yeah, paid, you get paid for yeah. it and then again like um you know you 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 uh, uh, sometimes like you know you feel down and then you go to work and then you, you you know you find someone asking you like one of your supervisors will ask you like do you want to take you know the day off like if you don't actually feel good and then it will not be left for you to say oh no i can manage or mm. you know something like that people care yeah they care for so, their workers yeah now what about the food what about the food this is like <laughs> <laughs> guys i took this girl i took this girl to, <laughs> to yeah. a boat trip and yeah. and we paid for buffet for endless food and endless drinking for two hours I mean three hours for three hours i think yeah three hours two hours roughly three hours three hours you can eat anything and drink anything there are ranges of wine ranges of beer whatever she did not eat anything and the little she ate she threw it out mm. like, like threw I out everything the yeah. night yeah like, that was because i actually uh, <clears throat> i think that was because i ate too much i ate too much and not just that i ate too much i i i don't know what happened but i think i was seasick you know being that we, being in a top yeah, of the ocean on top of the ocean yeah that was actually what happened so yeah. i was seasick so it's not really about the, about the food that yeah the food so okay. Okay. but uh, but uh, that is for that day <laughs> <laughs> But every other thing, I, I don't know when I will get used to this people's food, <laughs> so I still stick to my Nigerian food. <laughs> Your so, food is really good and delicious. Okay, oh, and bland. <laughs> just like and the thing you know, is that just just the way their people are, they are plain people. So it's kind yeah. of represent in their food, although their foods are not usually plain, but it's not so spicy like this Asian or African food that you know you you they don't have, even have the taste. Like they don't have <laughs> taste. Oh my god, they don't have taste. They have taste. You know what I'm trying to say? Like okay, at least when you are eating like our food, you say like oh, it's tasting like this. It is tasting like this. Why it's not like I'm not saying it's tasteless, but. Mm. You can't even place what it is tasting like. <laughs> like, imagine there is, you know, 
So, and then I'm, I'm, I'm wondering how they are enjoying it. And then she'll be like, sis, you are missing out. Missing out on Guinea. <laughs> She's missing out, honestly. You know? Finish food and is really like, good. Uh, she'll uh, come around, I believe uh, she will. Nah. You'll come around. And then my yeah. nephew will be jumping about, ah, macaroni latte. I say, you are who is latte queen. <laughs> Yeah. So. Anyway, I think that's the that's the, basically the the most positive things that you have to say about Finland. Is there any other thing you are missing? Um, no, um, no, except of course as 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 the year progresses, if there yeah, are other course, things that are uh, yeah, I, I find more that. positive things yeah. and stuff would happen, and mm -hmm. and you you haven't actually had like established relationship with one-on-one -on -one with Finnish people mm, no, no. I think the closest you have had is your teachers just my teachers at yeah. school and then my friend yeah uh, who, which you have been close to as well yeah. so so you have more time to explore, yeah, explore and gather more experience and talk more about uh, this um them people. And the people yeah. and the culture so guys I hope you like this video if you did and you really want to see more of me and my sister, if you really do want to see us more, let us know in the comment section because I'm trying to drag her with me, but <laughs> she's running without two left legs. Anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and do you have a few words to say to my audience before we go? Uh, not really, but just like I said before and just, just like she said, please, if you are already a subscriber thank you for subscribing and then if you have not subscribed yet subscribe to the channel thank, thank you. you for watching and see you all in our next video bye, bye. guys